Hey everybody, this is Claire and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or I go to estate sales or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist and I'm always looking for things that I find personally appealing or things that I think you might be interested in. And I bring them home and I try to find out as much as I can about them and then I tell you guys about them. So here's what I got today. I hope this shows up properly now, especially the colour. This is a very tiny little vase but wow what it what it lacks in size it makes up for in just this amazing cranberry color it is really spectacular like i i can't describe just how nice it is just to hold it and kind of kind of play with it or whatever it is just really really lovely <laughs> um you can actually see that it's just it's clear that through the base like it's got it's, cran it's cranberry glass but basically there's a layer of clear over it so it's slightly cased it is just lovely and it has this lovely little decoration going around the top. I bought this in the thrift store for two dollars and I, I basically got it because I picked it up and I thought oh that's so pretty that's that's so beautiful a scary kind of a like classic kind of mid-century art glass design I, I love it for two dollars I just thought it could not go wrong with that I had to have that um and you know I was I think I was right but anyway that's not let it roll. There we go. It is four inches high. And I'm gonna be eyeballing this a bit. It's about two and a half inches wide. It is small, quite small. I mean, it's it, you know it's art glass, right? It's not going to be it, the dimensions are not going to be exact. But in this case, it's actually very important that it is exactly four inches high. That's that's good for our purposes. It makes it easier to identify. Um, I've done some looking around and just essentially based on the look of it, I think that this is Pilgrim. Now, I have tried to see if I can find a mark or anything on it. No, there is no mark. I think it probably has a label and it's probably vintage just because of that. But I do have some kind of cool stuff to compare it to. Now, I've done a video before on Pilgrim glass and as it happens here, I have that piece is still is still here. I haven't sold it yet. And this one if you can actually find it, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, I've got to actually find the, the laser etching. Yeah, you can just about see it there. Pilgrim! <laughs> Pilgrim Cranberry. You can barely, barely make it out, but it's definitely there. So this is, this I know for sure, that is definitely Pilgrim Glass, Pilgrim Cranberry, and you can see between the two that they're incredibly similar and the colour is fabulous and the colour is very similar as well. Like, I'm I'm quite confident in saying that it is Cranberry, but, that, but again, we've got more to go on in this case, which is nice. Again, bought this for $2. <laughs> do. If we take a look at just like, like Pilgrim Cranberry, now, the cool thing about this, right, and I had to actually, I've just learned the word for this re recently. This is riggery. This particular kind of ruffled kind of addition, it's specifically called riggery. Um, I know I did just did a video about um, the, uh, the the Murano style um, splatter glass um, phase. And that has like a applied, applied swirl, I think applied elements. And I'm still calling that applique because that doesn't, that's not quite this. Riggery is just this specific kind of ruffled addition, this ruffled collar. That gets added on as far as I can tell like I've got to go and actually be sure of this but this seems to be like the the hive mind has kind of decided that this is what we're calling this so make it that what you will now the thing to note here right and it's kind of a bit more obvious here you can see that kind of optical effect it's very subtle a lot of the time if I see it here it's far more it's far more obvious it's certainly more obvious here it's far stronger you can see it's, that's got a very strong, those strong lines, that optical effect. This one is very much subtle. It's not, it's obviously not clear. It's not completely see-through. It has that effect. It's just far more, it's, it's far more kind of, I'd say it's not as, as impressed. It's like they, they didn't make it quite as, as distinct on this for whatever reason. Now, cool thing about this is that cranberry glass, if you're looking at this particular style of riggery, there was quite a bit of it. And they did it for a while. Now, I've spoken about uh, about Pilgrim Blaster before. They were basically known very, very well for doing specifically these, this this brilliantly coloured cranberry glass. 
And cranberry glass, like I've said before, is basically glass that has gold dissolved in it to give it this amazing colour. Like, just, I cannot get over that. Just look at that colour. You can, like, absolutely stunning. But anyway, like, so they, so cranberry just, huh. Pilgrim did a lot of this kind of cranberry glass and they did specifically do ranges like this that had little vases with this kind of riggery design. Now you can see one here, which is just labeled as a ruffled swirl bud vase, but that's very close to that, except that this, the top is a little bit different. So, so begs the question, can we actually conclusively ID this little vase as being from Pilgrim? And let's just say, for example, that we're not going to just base the colour and similarity to, to the, the creamer that I know is Pilgrim. Let's just say we're going to go on something a little bit more than that. And it turns out that, yeah, we actually can. Here we have some of the catalogue pages from Pilgrim Glass. Now, this doesn't actually say the, the year, unfortunately. I do have another page that does. But if you look here, Cranberry Bedford 4-inch vase assortment. And you can see that one there right at the end looks awfully similar. To this little one here. Not exactly the same shape, unfortunately, but again, this is blown glass. You don't, I don't know if we can actually expect it to be exactly the same. Now, it's kind of a bit of a crapshoot as well, because if you look down here, you can see that this is a five inch, um, and that one certainly looks a little bit more similar than the one that we've got, than, you know, than, than maybe the four inch ones. But the thing is, is that the size is very much distinctive in this case. This is definitely only four inches, so we know it can't be this one because these are all five inches. It's got to be something in this line and we've got it kind of a bit cut off there. Also, fun fact, Cranberry Atlanta four inch pitcher assortment. Does that look familiar? I would say that it does. Very similar, in fact. But anyway, look apart. So this is this is essentially some catalog pages. We don't have a date. Let's take a look over here. Pilgrim Glass, 1966-1984 for catalog reprints. Here we do have one. And we have the same kind of thing here, cranberry miniature vases. And then we have, again, another one here with an optical effect with riggery that looks very much like that. Again, it's not exactly the same shape, but it's something that's hand blown. It's not like you'd be exactly the same shape. It's just gonna be kind of close. So begs the question. I think that's good enough for me. I think this is definitely a little pilgrim face. Like, it's it's not really good enough to just go on what the hive mind thinks it is, but if we have the actual catalogue pages, that's a much better bet. And I'm kind of confident based on this anyway to say that this is definitely Pilgrim. That's good enough for me. So having said all that, what is it actually worth? Bearing in mind that I paid two dollars for it. Um, little phase like this, if we list it as Pilgrim, it'll probably sell for maybe 10 to 15 dollars um, US. I would say I could put it up on eBay for 10 dollars US plus shipping. And, you know, 10 bucks will ship it probably anywhere in the U, you know, anywhere in North America. So it's nice. I think I definitely make my money back on it. And, you know, someone's definitely going to like this, especially if they're into kind of this kind of cranberry glass. And the color is, again, fabulous. <laughs> I'd say if you had a pair of these and you just like put, you know, like some, some kind of flowers to make them pop, maybe something yellow or white, I'm sure that like it would look absolutely fantastic. So don't roll. You're gonna roll okay <sighs> so this is my small joyful thing for the day i'm very happy that i found it i hope you guys like it as well thank you very much for watching bye, -bye.